So if you've been watching, we have been going through my Alex 9 and just looking at each polish in, in the drawers. This time we are going to go through my random polishes. These are my like little one-offs. So let's just get into everything in this drawer. Okay, please ignore my nails. I'm getting ready to film a video where I do my nails, so I just figured I would do this one first. But this is obviously my drawer of randoms. This is ones that are maybe like, I guess, six polishes or less. <laughs> um, they don't have enough to fill a drawer, but they have enough where obviously they need to be put somewhere. So that's all of these polishes. Um, it's a bunch of different brands, mostly indie. And typically they start out here and then venture into having their own drawer. But first brand is Palette Polish. Um, I have been loving this brand. I did this six for 60 and I kind of want to do another one. I feel like their polishes, like the colors are really unique. They're just off enough to where I don't have dupes for them and they're really nice colors. So let's just get into the ones that I have. So this first one is just their basic white cream. This is coconut. I also picked up a really light pink. This is strawberry milk. And then a neon pink. This is sugar cookie. I love it. It's so pretty. Next one is a neon orange. This is hot wing. This one is robin egg. It's kind of like a Tiffany-ish blue green color and then a really nice like bright pastel color this is sweet mint and this one surprised me a lot i actually really really enjoy this color this brand is um like new to me like i said this is the only colors that i have from them but all of these except for robin's egg have taken three coats um so they just have like a little bit better of a formula at least when i apply the next little brand is Olive Ave Polish from Olive Ave Nails. This is Walker's brand. Um, I ordered kind of the exact same, not the exact same colors, but the same color family. Um, I ended up ordering Aster from the first collection. It's like a muted kind of dusty color. And then I also ordered Palm Trees from the most recent summer collection. And it's like a little bit more green bright. And then these I ordered four from Painted Polish by Lexi. This first one is Scotchy Scotch Scotch. And it is a kind of like duochrome flaky topper. Um, I haven't used a lot of these because this is kind of all of the things that I got for my big birthday haul. And I'm still like working my way through them. I have swatched a lot of them though. Um, so a lot of the swatches are over on my Instagram. But I really liked this little flaky topper. Next one is Minty Meadows, and it's like a kind of my favorite color base with like a duochrome flaky goodness in it. This one is Herb Your Enthusiasm, and it's like an olive base with a gold shift and gold flakies. I ordered a lot of flakies, so that's what you're going to see. The next one is Granite Grotto, and this one I am like in love with. It's again like kind of a deeper olive base, and then it has a flaky in it that's like gold, red, and blue. I just think those colors together are so cool. Absolutely love everything that I bought from them. Next one is Moonshine Manny, and I bought like her collections are a lot based on like TV shows and movies and such. So I bought this orange with um again like an orangey yellow flaky in it this is bring on the yams from a friend's collection i don't necessarily like think i'll wear this one that much but i just thought that the <laughs> friends reference was really funny and then this one here is a black with like purple green blue flaky shift this is mr body from the clue collection I think this is such a cool polish. I really want to try it like one coat over black. The swatches that I did had it on its own and I think it'd be really cool over black. Next up is my only four Cirque polishes. I really want more of these but I really have a hard time because these brushes are not honestly my favorite at all. They're kind of, 
I don't know. They're a little fluffier than like the old China Glaze brushes, but they're not my favorite. I would order more Cirques if they had the paddle brush. Just being as honest as I can on that. But the first one is Crushed Ice. This is a hollow. Um, it isn't a topper, like you can build it up, but I think you could also probably shear it out for a topper. Next one is Hatch, and this is a white polish with silver shimmer and then like little black or maybe gray kind of speckles. The next one is Rose Quartz. This is a pink kind of neutral hollow. It looks a lot more pink in the bottle um, than it comes off for me personally. I think it's a little more neutral, but it's still gorgeous. And last but not least, I had to order Urbanized, which is the kind of mustardy color. The next one is my only native war paints. I ordered this purely on nostalgia. This is Grumpy Bear. They did a whole Care Bear collection. This is a light blue with um, metallic blue glitter and then little hearts to kind of show Grumpy Bear. I did a video, uh, Nail It With Me, and use this and I was like basically just saying I'll probably not actually wear this. I just bought it for nostalgia reasons. Grumpy Bear was my favorite. These next two are just kind of like one-offs. Um, I have one square hue left. I signed up for a three-month square hue. I've gotten rid of all of them except for this one. This is Slot Canyon. You can't get these anymore, um, but I just really, really liked this color. Um, I felt like I didn't have a brown that was like this camel-y, so I kept this one. And then this next one is kind of like, this was PR, um, but this is a one-off of the, the gel. I don't know. When you order from D&D, they do a regular and then a gel polish like set. So they sent me the set of the gel white chalk and then also the regular white chalk. So this is just a regular white polish. And then I have some KB Shimmer. Um, so I ordered this one. This is not today. And again, it has that like red, blue, green, kind of like different shifts in a white base. So it's like a curly, flaky. Absolutely love the shift in this polish. So cool. This never would have, I never would have guessed is an orange hollow. I don't think they have this one anymore, but I ordered this from a D stash a while back. It's freaking gorgeous. And then I ordered um, water, water Relief, which is like a pearlescent blue flaky. Ugh, it's amazing. Again, there's swatches on most of these up on my Instagram, so go check the Instagram out. But this, this polish surprised me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It was real pretty. I used to have an entire drawer of simple colors, and I ended up getting rid of a lot of them. The two that I kept are Starfish, which is like a really pale, kind of just medium pink. And for some reason, I just can't ever let it go. And then the kind of infamous Endless Blue, which has been um, in the media a lot uh, for kind of like a suicide um, prevention type of thing. So it's kind of like a social polish but I love the color it's absolutely beautiful so I kept that then I have two from this brand LBK I haven't worn them um I bought them mostly because I thought their packaging was really cool they put swatches on the actual like cap which I thought was just really cool so I ran to Ulta and bought two this one is Sandy Sees All and then this one is Humble Riley. Like I said, I really like that they just have this little cap. I thought their packaging was super cool. My Ulta had like six colors, so I just picked some fall-ish colors, um, which was around the time. Um, I would really like some bright colors of this brand. And then this whole row is pretty much my only like um, one-off row. I guess there's some over here, but these are like just one. I have one Orly. This is Melcher Popsicle. I don't have a ton of Orlies. I did sign up for the Orly Color Pass, so those videos will start coming. Um, you get all of their four collections for the year, so I'll start doing those videos. But for now, I just have this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite summer polishes.
I'm pretty sure it's cuticula. Everyone tried to tell me in the comments. I don't know. But I ordered Candy Crush, which is a rainbow colored flaky topper. Um, Polish Lab Rat had posted it. And I just thought it was so cool. So I ordered that up real quick. My only Morgan Taylor. I would love more of these as well. This is Look at You Pinkachu. Um, I had this in a mini. I got a set for Christmas one year. And it had this as a mini in it. Um, and it was the only one that I kept from that mini. And then I ended up grabbing a full size. Because this is my favorite pink polish I would say. And then this is one of my favorite glitters from Color Club. Again, another brand I need more from. This is Magic Attraction. It's a really nice, like, silver hollow silver glitter mix. It's absolutely gorgeous, and you can build it up. I love this as a full manicure. It's really, like, in your face. And I used to have a ton of Sally Hansen, but they are not cruelty-free. So I got rid of a ton of them, but this one, Strobe Light, I just can't see myself getting rid of. Oh, it's such a gorgeous glitter. And again, you can build it up. So I've just been keeping it until it goes out. I obviously won't repurchase it, but I've already purchased it and I absolutely love it. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I kind of think we're ending this series like we're almost done I think I have a couple more drawers but I'll link all the other ones down below for the playlist but that was my random polishes I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one